Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another beer review on Cheer to Beers. My name is Travis. On this review, we're looking at Knee Deep Brewing Company's Simtra Triple IPA. This is a big, big beer, a big IPA. 11.25%, 131 IBUs. This is a probably one of the biggest IPAs that I've ever had. Um, I guess another one would come to mind would be Founders Devil Dancer. Um, and then I don't know. There's you know there's not a ton of beers that label themselves as a triple IPA um, as big as this beer. I'm really excited to try this. I know it only comes I think into three states, and uh, it's just uh, I've had it before. I only got a sample of it, so I'm really excited that I get to enjoy a whole bottle. Let's go ahead and get it to the Simtra Double, actually Triple IPA. Real quick on the appearance, it's really sticking to the glass like syrup. It looks super thick with just some bubbles to the head. Um, I usually, I'm stopped commenting on the appearance, but this one is definitely worth talking about. Let's give it a smell. Oh, wow. That is awesome. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. it's uh, It's got those uh, two hops that obviously are in the name, Simcoe and Citra, and they blend perfectly together to give you this just, oh man, earthy, grassy, piney, kind of smell that's just awesome. Yeah, you're also getting some of that grapefruit, you know, that, that real kind of bitter citrus smell in this beer. And it just smells amazing. It's hard to pull anything else out besides the hops though. That's not a bad thing at all. Yeah, maybe a little sweetness coming out of the malt in there, but it smells just really, really good. It kind of reminds me of Hop Slam uh, a little bit. And I'm only saying that because Hop Slam is coming out really uh really soon so uh, this one is smelling really good let's get into the taste cheers it's definitely as bitter as uh the ibus imply i know that uh, people say you can't taste more than 100 ibus which i can believe that this one really snaps your tongue uh with bitterness right away and flows all the way through the tongue with bitterness and then you also are getting those nice hops that are coming through. It's not overpowering you with bitterness, so you don't get the hops. But you can definitely tell uh, the IBUs are up there for sure. I'm also getting a little bit of sweetness from that malt. Seems to be a lot of pale malt in there. Uh, not much of the uh, the sweet caramel malt. Much, just a little bit. It seems like that's giving it that tiny bit of sweetness. That actually is very good. This beer, surprisingly... Um, is is almost balanced. I'm not going to say it is because the hops are really, really powerful in this beer. And if you don't like a hoppy, bitter beer, you're not going to like this. But the malt kind of provides that nice backbone that you want when you're getting a ton of hops in a beer. Um, it doesn't get in the way, but it uh, kind of serves its purpose. And I'm not pulling out a lot of citrus in the taste. Um, it, it, the bitterness is, uh, is, the, is really the main thing I'm getting, I guess. It's um, maybe some pininess, some a little bit of grassiness, but the, I'm not getting any of that citrus that I, that I was expecting from the smell. Uh, so far I would say the smell is better than the taste, but the taste is still pretty good. My final thoughts on this beer, it's actually very, very good. I, uh, <clears throat> you know, I wasn't sure from my initial you know, first taste when I had that a couple months ago um, what it was going to be like uh, you know, drinking more of it. I just got a little bit of a sample then, but now you know, it's, I feel like this beer really displays the Simcoe and Citra hops very, very well. They're the, kind of their, their own unique uh, hop and when their flavor and their smell, you know, you get some pine, you get some citrus and all kinds of, you know, some grassy notes to it. It's, it's, it's two, two of my favorite hops uh, by far and I feel like this beer definitely displays those hops very, very well in the smell and the taste. Um, the ABV is a little hidden. I'm starting to feel a little bit of a burn towards the end. Um, as I'm drinking it, but it's, you know, I kind of forgot it was there. So that's definitely a good sign when you have a beer that's 11.25%. Um, obviously, it's pretty bitter. Uh, the IBUs are very high. It's not so bitter that I'm like wanting to scrape off my tongue or anything like that. I've had beers like that before. Um, it's surprisingly drinkable for uh, such a high ABV. I'm going to go <clears throat> on the Simtra from Knee Deep Brewing Company. I'm going to go with a 8.5 out of 10. I was kind of expecting a little bit more out of this. Um, but overall, it's a, it's a good, good, solid, almost great beer. Um, it's kind of on the edge right there, but it's, uh, it's, I would say it's definitely worth a pickup if you're a op-ed, if you like hoppy beers, if you like IPAs, double IPAs, triple IPAs. Um, give it a try, especially if you like the, the hop combination. 
It's a, it's a great beer. I would say, uh, yeah, definitely pick it up. This is the only beer I've had from Needy Brewing Company. If anyone can get their beer, I know we get it in Ohio, but I don't know if we get a lot of their selection. Um, uh, if, if someone knows in Ohio, let me know what we can get. I want to try some more. And if you live by the brewery or live in a state that you can get this beer or their beer, uh, let me know and I'd like to maybe set up a trade and try some more of this. Because obviously if they're doing a beer like this, they have to be doing some interesting stuff because uh, that hop combination is definitely amazing. So uh, comment, rate, subscribe. If you have this beer, let me know. Until next time, cheers.